Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break, number nine of 2022, Bowman Sterling Baseball. A little Bowman, little prospect hunting. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. No filler, we did it straight up. I think Chad bought the last few teams there, Cubs, Dodgers, and one more. Nationals. So triple last spot mojo for him. Thanks everyone for knocking this out. And this, Remember, we mark those with two so we know they're from the same case. This is the last um, last break of this Bowman Sterling. So we might get some more. Keep an eye on the website. But for now, that is it. All right, well, the World Series starting on Friday. I think we'll have a lot of time tomorrow to talk about it on Thursday. But what uh, what other non-World Series baseball news happening? Adam Wainwright is agreed to a one-year deal. I guess he wasn't... I know that Yachty and Pujols each said that this was going to be their last year. I guess everyone just kind of expected Wayno to go as well, but no. He's planning to retire after the 2023 season, after next season. Terms of the deals have not been disclosed, but he'll be back for a 19th season with the Cardinals. I think he did all right last season, yeah. Yeah, he pitched 190, 90 plus innings, had a 371 ERA. You know, not, not the same as. 2021, he had a pretty good year in 2021, but still, effective. You, know, you can gobble up some innings. Good for him. Rex mentioned this use yesterday. Marlins hiring Skip Schumacher as manager. A little more interesting... Manager hire. Why did Mar Marlon should have gotten Bruce Bochy? Bruce Bochy went to uh, he went to the Rangers. It's a good hire. Blue Jays ended up hiring John Schneider as manager. Ted Leonis's group. I don't know who Ted Leonis is. Is the clear frontrunner take over the Nationals? Oh, he's already a key factor in the D.C. sports scene as his monumental sports entertainment owns the Wizards, Capitals, and Mystics. All right, that makes sense. So then getting the Nationals would be, would have him be the sports guy there. All right, there's Ellie De La Cruz and Sal Freelich for the Brew Crew. Nicholas with the Brewers. And the speckle for the red, that's a nice one. Jonathan, there you go, to 99 on that one. Behind Jake Myers is Jose Ramos for my Dodgers. Chad, last ball mojo. I don't know what a Bo Duke is. And there's Carlos Colmenares for the Rays. Jared O. With Tampa Bay. And we've got a George Valera wave autograph. 124 out of 125. Cleveland, this is for you. Jason with that one, with the Guardians. Speaking of the Guardians... Jose Ramirez to undergo hand surgery. Expected to be ready for spring training, though.
And there's Christian Hernandez for the Cubs. Chad with the Cubs. That's his other last spot mojo team. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Oh, I see. John Schneider was in Dukes of Hazard. Okay, so Mike's saying that John Sh Richard Schneider is an American actor and country music singer, best known for his portrayal of Beauregard Duke in the American television action comedy series The Dukes of Hazard. Right, they hired him as the uh, as the manager for the Blue Jays. So let's see how that work how see how that works out for the Blue Jays. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. undergoes follow-up procedure to the wrist. I'm just reading headlines off of MLBTradeRumors.com. Cardinal signed GM Michael Gersh to a multi-year extension. Kodai Senga to trigger opt-out and become a free agent. I'm assuming that is a uh, Japanese player here? Yeah. Pitcher. The Hanshin Tigers post Shintaro Fujin, uh, Fujinami, who is a hitter? I'd like you to be a hitter. No, pitcher. The qual your qualifying offer set at $19.65 million for this offseason. So guys like Cody Bellinger, who has arbitration year four, I think, coming up. Arb four. I don't think the Dodgers are going to be paying him nearly $20 million. To no surprise, I think Carlos Correa signals his intent to opt out of the Twins deal. Tyler Matzik to undergo Tommy John surgery. I don't know how old some of these headlines are, but Braves extend Spencer Stride. Oh, I think we saw those news already. I guess Aaron Boone to return to man as manager in 2023. These are all... So nothing too crazy news-wise. Um, there's going to be a lot of free agent shortstops that are going to be available. We'll take a look at that list in the next box. There's local boy Nar Lars Nootbar. And we've got Jordan Lawler, 2 out of 25. DMAC and the Diamondbacks. The blue refractor autograph for the snakes. We got a Curtis Mead, 27 out of 150. That will be for the Rays. That's going to go to Jared. There's Benny Montgomery. Rockies. <laughs> yeah, John Schneider's going to teach teach players how to sliding into bases by sliding across the hoods of cars. Have you? Has anyone ever done that? Rockies. David with the Rockies. And there's Dory Lorenzo. You can't do it on any on every car. You got it's. There's Dory Lorenzo, Astros. Corey with the Strohs. Julio Rodriguez, rookie card. And a Jonathan Classe autograph. Mariners, Chad. Mariners, Chad. Parallels would be nice. Um, 
most people when they're sliding on the hoods of a car, the most mo the most the most common mistake is jumping on top of the hood. You just end up making a dent in your hood, and you seem like a you feel silly. Now it's much harder. You do you really do have to kind of glide and slide over over there. So it's, it can't. And if the if the hood is too short or too bubbly, you know, just it's just. It's got to be kind of a nice, long, smooth hood that you can, long nose that you can slide across. For me, anyway. Maybe I mean maybe people that are more skilled at hood sliding than I am could do it on any hood, but it's got to be the right hood, a sturdy hood. I like those those older cars definitely had sturdier. They were heavier, right? Sturdier, sturdier hoods. You surprised when you saw that is Anthony Rizzo expected to opt out of the Yankees contract? Wonder where he would go. Says Rex. Huh? Maybe back to the Yankees. For most players, if you have a most, and it's not all the time, I guess, but most of the time, if you're a player that has an opt out and you had a decent season, you're opting out. And I think Rizzo probably had better than a decent season, right? What did he end up hitting this year? Yeah, he had two three war. That average could be a little better, two twenty four. But he hit thirty two home runs, seventy five RBIs. You know, he was decent. So, you know, if you can opt out, when what was what was his contract? He's making 16 million. And of a player of that age too, Rex, he would he's looking for he's also looking for for years, a little more security. He may not get 16 million dollars a year. But if he can get maybe a little less than that, And get the security of having maybe three to five years. I think he'd take that. If he opts out, he wouldn't go back to the Yankees. I mean, he could. Opting out doesn't mean you can't re-sign with that team that you opted out from. It doesn't preclude you from that. So he can still re-sign with the Yankees. He had a pretty decent season. He was pretty healthy for the most part. If you can opt out, you're going to opt out. So Julio Rodriguez, another one. Now, if he had a bad season or if he was like injured for half the season or something like that, then yeah, then you can see where he wouldn't opt out. Oh, and a nice Julio Rodriguez... 55 out of 199. Nice parallel there. Mike, who are you doing any group breaks tonight? I'm doing one right now. I'm assuming your question is, are we doing any more? That I don't know. That's up to you. I only see a couple orders coming in. We're getting towards the end of our night. But check the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Try to knock something out. There's Milkar Perez. For the Mariners, Chad Cromwell. And behind Stuart Fairchild, the 75 for the Mariners. Is an orange parallel? Yes, Kyle Manzardo. Or maybe not orange. That's the 70. Aren't oranges uh, 25? Tampa Bay Rays, Jared. I think you're not wrong, Rex. I think in most cases, like uh, let's take uh, let's take Carlos Correa for example. He's opting out to find a new team. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Carlos Correa. I mean, 
Although, if the Twins wanted to sign Carlos Correa that for a long-term contract, I guess suppose they would have done that in the first place. 14 out of 50, Hedbert Perez. And speaking of the Twins, there's Brian Acuna, Ronald's brother, for the Twins. That'll be for David. But I guess the situations are a little different. I think Carlos Correa wants to get like that big, whatever you can get, big seven to ten year deal or something crazy like that. Whereas Rizzo's situation is a little bit different. He had a decent season and he's a little bit older. There's Curtis Mead to 150, Speckle. And that reveals a Dustin Harris for the Rangers. So I feel like he's looking for maybe some more years for a little security. Jonathan Kent with the Rangers. And if the yeah, I suppose if the Yankees, I'm sure he probably would rather stay with the Yankees, but if he doesn't, then maybe someone else will give him those years. Bobby Witt Jr. Lars Nootbaar to 150. And if someone doesn't, it's Pedro Leon for the Astros. And he signs another one-year deal, I guess. Or two and an opt-out. Two out of 75, Pedro Leon, Astros. Corey with the Astros. Yeah, this is the, uh, we, all, we will soon be in, a, for most teams, for 28 teams, they are in the silly season. There's Newt Bar for the Cardinals. That'll be for Chad. A lot of speculation out there running rampant. Who's going to sign where? Who's going to opt out? Who's going to opt in? Who's going to take qualifying offers? Who's going to avoid arbitration? Who's going to be traded? Who's going to be signed? I think one of the bigger positions that have a lot of free agents is the shortstop. So we saw Carlos Correa opting out. So he'll be a shortstop. I guess we have to wait to see if Xander Bogarts is going to opt out. I mean, I think he might. He's got three years, $60 million left on it. That's $20 million a year. I feel like he thinks he can get more. than I mean, He should be able to get more than $20 million a year somewhere. You know, salaries rise incrementally every year. So I feel like he can... <laughs> what can what could he get? Xander Bogarts finished season with a 5-7 war. Hit 307, 15 home runs. 73 RBIs, 8 stolen bases, 171 hits. He must have had, um, yeah, almost 40 doubles, 38 doubles. You'll take that. And then, um, and then Trey Turner. Is a free agent. Dansby Swanson's a free agent. So I will be trade rumors that the Cub will for sure get one of the four shortstops. Who makes the most sense? I don't know. Depends on. I. I, I the tw the Cubs have to have like a degree of self awareness that I don't think they have. I think they think they're going to be a playoff team next year. A and they may be bolstered by the fact that. You know, a team like the Phillies has gone as far as they did. I just don't understand why, you know, why, why would you get Carlos Correa, you know, for a big 10-year deal or something like that? There's Ian Lewis, 10 out of 50, and Pedro Pineda. That's for the A's. That'll be for Chad. But I don't know. I mean, any of those shortstops, any team would love to have any of those shortstops. There's Ian Lewis for the Marlins, Nicholas. What would make the most sense for the 
Cubs. I mean, if the Cubs think they're ahead of schedule, you know, then you go all in. Then you, you know, then you go, then you get Xander Bogarts. And you, or if he opts out, and then you get Carlos Correa to go after Trey Turner. Shailen Polanco will go to Michael and the Pirates. There's Gavin Sheets to 99. Speckle and Trey Sweeney for the Yankees. That will be for Corey. Tom Ricketts made it clear that it's going to take a few more. He said recently he's focused on the farm, but will spend. I mean, I feel like they said that last season, too. But I don't think they really did. And I don't think they really are. Ooh, nice. Benny Montgomery. I like this design. 1999 Prince. That goes to David and the Rockies. I'll say I'll tell you what I said last year, Rex, when you were saying the same thing. I think they're just saying that just to appease fans. Bobby Wood Jr. will go to Nick and the Royals. I think they really think they're just gonna. I mean, now's not the time to be signing free agents. I think I, th I think it's time to, yeah, keep working on that farm system, and see which group of youngsters kind of start emerging and evolving together as a group. You know, there's Leo Verguero, nice Michael with the Pirates, and then once you get like a core of like. I don't know, look at the Mariners. Once you get like a core of players, you know, that are that are performing well together and are kind of evolving together, then you pull the trigger on like a Luis Castillo, like they like they did, you know, you pull the trigger on uh on, you know Robbie Ray was mixed results, but you kinda of pull the trigger on get it, signing a player like him, you know, that's when you kinda of strike. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's a little early. That was a nice refractor for that Julio Rodriguez kid. He's pretty good. So, I mean, I think the Mariners are a great example. They, they kind of kept building up their farm system. They moved Robinson Cano. They got some prospects back. They're a little ahead of schedule, I think. And then they looked great this regular season. You know, and then they started making the trade. Let's, let's try to add that. Let's try to add Robbie Ray. Let's try to add Luis Castillo at the deadline. Let's try to do that sort of stuff. I think that's what the Cubs need to do. Kind of shed some old payroll. Get that off the books, get some older players off the books, start playing the kids, and start seeing who's going to be the real deal. From prospects to major leaguers is such a different thing, you know? And some of the best prospects won't make it. Some prospects you didn't think were anybody will make it. If you got a core, a handful of people, in the handful of hitters, some defensive guys, a couple pitchers, then you can start thinking a few years down the line, what, what, what are some free agents I can snag up? Because the Cubs can spend money, so once, but once they got a core, then it's going to be a lot more attractive for, you know, whoever the next Jacob Degrom is going to be, in a little bit. So there you have it, folks. Twenty twenty two Bowman Sterling Baseball four box pick your team nine in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Check out our uh, hundred and twenty box World Series mixer. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye bye.